Okay, I'm just uh, been asked to confirm that these USB Stingray USB Crows work uh, on a Windows 7 uh, 64 bit machine. So I've got a my this my work computer actually is a 64 bit machine and it's running Windows 7. So this is the uh, folder which contains the software that I send out and all the kits. So I'm just going to start trying to do this now. Just starting with the uh, just installing this one. Okay, finish. Okay, so it's uh, having a go. Now it's got a little X there. Um, so what we do is we just open up Control Panel Device Manager and Update Driver Software Browse and just browse uh, to the CD that you get. But in my case, I've got it on my cloud drive. So I've just got to find it. So what we want is the latest drivers. So I actually got these off off the web. So because I'm having trouble finding it, I'm just going to copy that to my other drive. I'm making this a lot harder than it actually needs to be. There we go. Let's see if this helps. So there you go, successfully updated. And let's do it the same for the other one. So those drivers I downloaded off the web, I just Googled it, but I put it on the CD anyway. So something you can easily do yourself. Uh, now let's try running the software. And um, just run. Now, of course, at the moment, there's no Crow probe attached, but uh, you can see that it's working now. Actually, I brought a Crow probe, so I may as well test it. So I should be able to pick up a bit of noise. There you go.
There you go, there's the 50 hertz hum. So you can see it's working. Now, just as a last bit, just Google Stingray USB scope driver. So here's the page. Learning how to use Google is a must if you want to be an engineer. Don't rely on other people to find things for you on the internet. Um, so, I do remember getting the drivers off here somewhere. There, yeah, easy scope. See downloads. Downloads. Is probably one of these ones. There's the application software anyway. So just, but anyway, the software you need should be on the CD. So thank you.